Welcome back to DXB today. We're so excited to have you here with only 10 days left to the F1. But we've got lots coming up on the show. What's coming up today? So I check out some racing simulators, some of the best in the world, with one of the fastest drivers in the region. Revolutionizing French cuisine with avant-garde techniques. We have Chef Pierre Gaguenier joining us right here in the studio to talk about his restaurant and book. Plus, we've got a performance for you. One of our favorites, Shanice Michelle, is going to be playing right here on DXB today. But guys, the F1, how excited are we? Elaine, you've been here longer than anyone. Bravo. What is your favorite thing about the I've F1? I've been to every single F1 in Abu Dhabi, besides two, I think. Um, and yeah, it's, it's incredible. I mean, you've got the entertainment, you've got obviously fast cars, um, you've got food, you've got, you have everything in the city for at least a week. It's a weekend, but that's easily a week worth of entertainment. I, I want to know how Lane Redman does F1 because you're, you know, know the right? most celebrity of all of us. Okay. Are you Seven. out on the yachts? Are you in the general admission? Are you up in the box? Are you in the hotel? Where are you during F1? All of it. <laughs> <laughs> I, literally, I literally do all of it. Each day I go to a different place uh, and get a, a taste and a feel of the whole thing. So I've been in all of the different stands. I've actually raced on the track many a time as well. Um, I do the boats uh, all over, all over. It's, it's, it's one of the best things in this, this region has to offer. You know that I worked with Lane, of course, mm -hmm. first worked together during Expo 2020. We were doing a show called Studio Expo, and he really is everywhere at the same time. <laughs> I, I wouldn't it. run into anyone as I much as one. It. Yeah, he'd never, he'd never say, hey, do you want to hang out here? But I'd see him at every party, any time of day. Let's go, let's go, let's Why go. Why are you not involving us, Lane? You know, Chris Brown is in town. Really? For the Grand Prix. <laughs> I heard about that. Yeah, actually. yeah, he's is really... it, It's not just a rumor, it's No, true. for the F1. Okay. Yes, okay, yeah, cool. definitely for the F1. So, so that, you need to invite us. What's your F1 <laughs> experience, generally? I've been once, and I absolutely loved it. Like, the energy is just different, you know? It has a different energy that I haven't experienced in the UAE. So that's amazing. The different people that come in from all over the world, the F1 heads, you know, you can't, you know, you can't compete. I thought football was bad, but F1 is another level. Um, but it's just the energy is just so exciting. It's actually one best F1 on the whole calendar for a good few years in a row as well. Uh, obviously, there's many different races on the calendar all over the world, uh, but Abu Dhabi is up there as one of the best. It's got to be. It's absolutely fantastic. And speaking of F1 heads, mm -hmm. we are very excited about our guest co-host for today. But let's find out who it is. Hello everyone, my name is Sultan Khalifa and I'm the UAE Sim Racing Champion and I'm today's guest co-host for DXB Today. Stay tuned for more to come. Yes, Sultan will be joining us in the hot seat in just a second. But before that, I went down to the Tellius Dome, a state-of-the-art entertainment facility in the heart of Dubai Production City. They have racing simulators. I had a lot of fun. Check it out. The season is upon us. Now, when we're talking about the season, I'm talking about the race season. Yes, the big Formula One race is happening in the capital. Uh, but if you really want the experience of driving in a Formula One car, you need to come down to Dubai because there's a place called the Tellius Dome where they have all of the best sims in the world that can teach you how to drive in a Formula One car and race some of the best tracks in the world. So Isaac, I am a novice when it comes to this professional style of sim racing, but this is next level. So yes. how did it come together? We started all together like when uh, we, we were a child because we, uh, we, we, lo we love racing and we want to experience something more. But once we, we grew up, uh, we found that the sim simulators are not good enough from what we were trying to challenge during, uh, during a race. As you can see, like well, what we develop is not only like a normal join of chassis and pipes, but only like it has a very good shape, a very interesting design. And also at the end, the feelings that you're feeling inside of it are like very, very close to the real, to the real ones. So how many sims do you have here? Inside the venue, we have 17 simulators wow. for like general purpose, plus two for VIP experience. VIP experience? VIP experience, yes, because sim racing is something that everyone can do. But if you want like something more, maybe like a coach that is helping you or like a full experience with a specific room only for you with two simulators and a space also for your friends. You can go inside and have like a real experience with uh, noise, music and everything. Well, I don't really want to say too much, but I kind of need the VIP, man. 
I'm very glad to show you. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm Welcome. I'm looking pleasure. forward to this, man. Cool. Thank you very much. All right. <laughs> I think I'm ready for the real thing. All right, then let's Maybe not. It. How fantastic. Now, today's guest co-host is the first ever national sim racing champion in the UAE, kickstarting his journey back in 2020. He's a self-taught driver hoping to transition into real life racing and represent his country. Please join me in welcoming Sultan Khalifa onto the show. Sultan, Thank welcome. You for now, I am not going to blame it on my gender, okay? Because I have two sisters that are absolutely racing mad. So it's not my gender, but just for you. those, just me, <laughs> just me, right? I take the blame. For, so for those of us that don't know about sim racing, can you please just shed some light and tell us about your journey? Yeah, for sure. Uh, so basically sim racing is a software that stimulates driving. Um, so you can take it professionally or you can take it just for fun, like arcade and just enjoy with the friend so it's uh, a simulator that instead of driving a real car in real life you just sit at home cozy under the ac and just drive without any like the people driving around you i'm actually you know? so interested sultan to know there must be regulations when it comes to championships because i know there's some races that actually move you around while you're racing i know some of them are just at home no no motion or anything like that so what are the regulations can people cheat hack like what um, there must be rules. So cheating, no. Yeah. You can't. You can't cheat. You, you can't cheat, okay. basically. So uh, when it comes to real championships, you just go and sit and prep for the championship. So 20 drivers, 20. Uh, it's like the F1, 20 grids, 20 drivers. So you sit down, uh, take a lap, qualifying lap, racing, and there's stewards in the back. So they watch everything, anything that happens. Pen uh, drivers get penalized, um, disqualified, and so it's it's almost you could say close to real racing, but without the G-force effect on you. Basically, yeah. <laughs> that's, it, yeah. that's the only thing missing. But I mean, you still have the effects. Obviously, we raced the other day, yeah. which was fantastic, and uh, you were playing with me. It was like cat and mouse. <laughs> <laughs> but it was like it was it was such a fantastic experience. So you get you get still the the feel. There's still this pressure as well. Yeah. How do you handle the pressure when it when it comes to a championship? So basically, it's all mentally, like men mentally prepped, so uh, physically and mentally. So we prepare ourselves as drivers to go and be mentally prepared for like the pressure that happens in the championship. And because uh, you, you've seen the steering wheel, you see how, how it was like really it's proper F1 wheel. Yeah, exactly. And the force feedback is crazy. So um, it's all about fitness and mental m mental health, basically. So the more you're good at it, the more the more you keep going forward. So yeah. So what do you do outside of racing, and what do you think your future will entail with sim racing? You're already the champion. Um, so what next? Um, so my main goal is to be the first ever UAE national to shift from virtual racing to real life racing. Oh wow! And I've got a great team working with me uh, back at Telio, so they're helping me do the best we can to shift to real life racing in Incredible. 2024 so hopefully next year you guys are going to see me seeing me in real track racing really yeah. so what type of racing are you going to be doing because i i'm not an expert myself i'm not going to blame that on my gender definitely <laughs> uh, but i know with like when it comes to f1 you start with go-karting and then it becomes more and more and more exactly. so what process do you have to go through as a virtual racer so before i started sim racing i was go-karting so I tried go-karting and I read more about motorsport. I was like, okay, so to reach F1, you need to go go-karting, F4, F3, F2, F1. Um, but for my age, it's, it was not possible to make it to F1. So I was like, okay, let's go to sim racing and then just transition from sim to GT3 cars or like endurance championships. Um, so I'll be focusing more into GT4 and GT3 cars and uh, hopefully uh, manage to go to 24-hour endurance championship. So that's the main goal. Incredible. Brilliant. So Sultan, in terms of, uh, obviously you're at the age now, you're still looking fresh. 
you're ready. Um, what would you say is the perfect age to start racing? Um, so it depends. So let's say if you want to go to formula, to the formula world, you need to start young, um, three years, two, three years and take it from there. Um, but in terms of um, GT3, you can go up to 60 years old and still be able to drive the car. Really? Uh, Formula One, there are like specific age, so you could see Formula One drivers now, they're like young age, and they made it to Formula One. Um, and the maximum is like 49, 45, that's the maximum uh, age you can go to. But GT3 is good, so, because it's open. Yeah. You can start anytime, you can finish at any time, not like Formula One. Yeah. So it's fun. So yes, it will not be DXP today without a musical guest. So let's see who our musical guest is who's going to play us out tonight. Hi, my name is Shanice Michaels and I am from the Philippines. Happy to represent my country. And tonight I'm going to perform, and of course my favorite, Michael Jackson. And it's going to be Rock With You. So we'll rock it tonight. We're going to be seeing that a little bit later on. But for right now, don't go anywhere. Because coming up, we're going to be talking about driverless racing cars. Stay tuned.